Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you what to do when your truck throws the P0420 code and you need to replace your Y-pipe catalytic converter on a Chevrolet Silverado GMT 900 from the years of 2007 to 2014. So you might have noticed on your dash, if you have a check engine light here, that we're going to need to find out what code it is to verify that we need to replace the catalytic converter. So we're going to grab our OBD2 scanning code and verify which code it is. Once we verify that we do have the trouble code P0420, it tells us it's a catalyst inefficiency, which means the catalytic converter needs to be replaced. So the very first thing we need to do is use WD-40 or some sort of penetrating fluid and spray all the O2 sensors and exhaust connecting bolts. Now with the penetrating fluid seeping into the threads, it'll be easier to remove everything we sprayed it on. Next, we need to unbolt this anti-sway bar. We're not going to remove it, we're just going to unbolt it so it comes down slightly so we can actually get the Y-pipe out. And now we can remove the Y-pipe.
Next, we need to compare our old Y pipe to our new one to make sure that it's identical. Next, we're going to take silicone rubber and apply it to all the mating surfaces and washers, as shown here. Now we need to apply the new washers and silicone rubber here, and we're going to apply silicone rubber to the other side where it attaches to the exhaust manifold. Do this for both sides of the exhaust. Now with silicone rubber on all the mating surfaces, we can replace our Y-pipe. The first thing we're going to want to do when replacing the Y-pipe is place it where we need it to be and then thread all of the nuts on by hand. Make sure you do all of them first because once you bolt it up it's kind of going to shore everything up and it might be difficult to get the nuts on the other side. So make sure you thread uh, the nuts on by hand first and then we can hit them with a ratchet or an air gun. Right where the Y-pipe attaches to the rear end of the exhaust, we're going to put a block of wood here to help it up so we can get a better angle and get the nuts on and bolted on like we need to. Now we can begin evenly bolting up everything we've unbolted earlier.
Now we can re-bolt the anti-sway bar. Next, we need to replace all the O2 sensors. What we're going to do to replace these is we're going to twist them to the left like so, so that way when we're bolting them back in, they'll naturally kind of want to wind their way back into the thread, so you're not working against it or damaging the wires inside of it. Next, we need to remove all the stickers that came stock on the Y-pipe. Now we can use our OBD2 scanning device to erase the code that we had earlier. And that's it. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com.